How saddened I am by all of the events. Deeply saddened and how sorry I am. I'm very sorry for what's happened. I am deeply sorry for the impact that the collapse of the company had. Four apologetic faces belonging to the four people who were at the top of Carillion. They were called to explain to MPs how this construction company name came to mean mismanagement. There are unpaid suppliers, uncertain pensions and thousands of lost jobs right across the UK. Meanwhile, the firm's former boss last year took home a bonus of £200,000. Do you feel comfortable with the level of bonus you received in the year before the company that you ran collapsed? Yes, I, I do, for, for, what I, for, for the, the attributes that I earned it for. Do you think you should give the bonus back? I need to understand the position. I've been out of this business for That's over disaster. a year. The firm built and maintained hospitals, schools and prisons, but its former leaders denied its problems with cash flow could have been predicted. The collapse has caused real anger, and after the apologies, the bosses saw that firsthand. It's just words. I'm saddened, I'm disappointed. I wish I could have done things differently. But the money's in the bank. But it's not in the bank, is it, for the subcontractors? It's not in the bank for the people who are retired or coming up for retirement. So instead of the words, why don't you actually do something? Why don't you give some money back? People have lost their jobs and you are still all right. All of you, aren't you? It was a handful of just the very top people in Carillion who were answering MPs' questions in there today. But also in the room, there were workers and contractors. Now, none of them said they wanted to talk to us on camera today, but it's a reminder that there are thousands of individual lives that have been made harder by the collapse of this giant corporate structure. Last week, we heard the predicament of its pensioners. If I don't get my Carillion pension or even, you know, some of it, if I only get some of it, I am indeed stuck. But today the former chairman was saying nothing more to them. Mr Green, why did you prioritise shareholders over pensioners? Why are pensioners losing out and shareholders still got paid? And the boss's bonus doesn't look any closer to being paid back. You're going to keep it, £200,000? What's the bonus? Its executives are sorry. Is that the end of the Carillion story? Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.